Hi friends, Brooke here from BrookeAlexandra.tv and today I want to talk to you about how I found my personal freedom from extreme independence. So it's not something we think of often because independence is so revered in this society. From such a young age we've been taught to do so many things on our own and it can even be hard to ask for a helping hand with things because of this extreme independence. Honestly, it can be quite stifling. Could extreme independence be limiting your life experience? Because I know it was mine. From a young child, I was extremely independent. From 10 years old, I was basically a latchkey kid. My mom was single, had multiple jobs, and had to take care of a lot of things on my own. So naturally this built into my character, it built into who I was, or who I thought I was. As I got a little older, I actually thought this extreme independence was attractive, I thought it was sexy, I thought it was really, like, basically I was the jam because I could handle everything myself. But there's some high prices to pay for being so extremely independent. I wouldn't connect with people because I really couldn't receive them. I was such an island. I was in my own space and really not letting anyone in. So some of the most detrimental symptoms of being an extreme independent are feeling guilty or receiving gifts. I've always been such a giver, but whenever someone offered something to me, be it help or a sweet offering, some sort of gift, I would literally feel guilty because I wasn't able to receive. It's the same thing as not letting someone in. Letting them, like, love you. Letting them gift you. Letting them tell you you're beautiful. So taking it back to 2005, I was in a pretty gnarly car accident, hit by a drunk driver, and I was in a lot of pain for years. Finally, my doctor, had me get an MRI, and I found out I had two bulging discs in my spine. Well, this was a relief because I could actually go research and find out what I could do for my body to heal myself. But it was also a big ego crusher for me. It robbed me of a huge part of my extreme independence that I was so dependent upon as part of my character, as part of who I was. I was told I was not allowed to lift over 40 pounds, and I like to lift heavy things. I like to help people move. I'm like the strong girl who wants to do things like physically for people. So it might sound a little strange coming from a woman, but it was extremely demasculating for me. I wasn't allowed to lift over 40 pounds. And I also wasn't allowed to do any kind of high impact activities. Basically, this hurt my independent ego. And I literally had to ask for help. So, little by little, I started breaking down this extremely hard, tall wall that I had built up and started asking for help. Slowly, I actually started to like it. So they say that the worst things in your life, at some point, you'll see how they're such a blessing. And this car accident, which seemed extremely detrimental and caused me a lot of pain and agony and healing that I had to work through and, and get through and do for myself, it turned into this huge blessing because it taught me how to receive. And since then, I've had better relationships. I've allowed people in to my life. I've allowed them to help me. It builds a bond. It builds trust. It builds, it builds character, a new kind of character where I could be open and loving and nurturing and experience life in a new way. So once I opened up to receive, my life became much more balanced. I was able to open up that feminine, receiving, beautiful receptacle that we're meant to all have, men and women. We're all meant to receive. And if you're blocking that, you're blocking half of your flow of life. It's all about the give and take. Give and receive. 
give and receive. To not be able to receive is blocking half of the way that you were designed. So my life became much more balanced. And as a result of that, my self-love grew, my self-confidence, my self-empowerment, my self-improvement. So this is something I'm still learning on a regular basis. It's something I have to do with a daily practice. I have to literally keep myself in check and make sure that I open up and ask for things. So I have two things for you to do. Do try this at home. One is ask for help. Even if you don't necessarily need the help, but there's someone there that you can include in what you're doing, ask them for help. Ask them to assist you. Ask them for their opinion. Ask them to help you with whatever it is that you can include others in. The second one is to make a pact with yourself. When you receive a compliment, I want you to stop, take a deep breath, open your heart, let it in, feel it, and then say thank you. It's a huge lesson in self-love to allow other people's grace and love and sweetness to come into us and for us to actually feel it instead of it just hitting this brick wall and bouncing off of us. So let that love in, let that sweetness in, and let yourself feel it because it's really filling and it's really sweet and it helps to culminate our self-love by opening up and receiving. So thank you for watching. Please, if you love this video, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have so much more awesome information for you guys and it's really my honor and my pleasure to bring it to you. Signing off with so much love and gratitude. Ciao for now.